Greetings, everyone. I'm Father Stepan Baljan, the pastor of St. Gregory Armenian Apostolic Church, coming to you here from our sanctuary in North Andover, Massachusetts. It's a pleasure for me to be addressing you once again today. I wanted to share with you a passage from the Psalms, specifically from the 40th Psalm, which reads as follows. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. This beautiful passage describes what it's like to wait on God. Oftentimes, we don't like to wait for things. We become impatient when something takes too long. And in the same way, when we're asked to do this heroic feat of waiting for something patiently for a long time, like in the situation we're in right now with the coronavirus shutdown, it becomes very difficult for us to see clearly the big picture, to see a way out or to see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. But listen to what the psalmist says about what happened when he waited patiently on the Lord. He was heard, his voice was heard, and not only was his cry for help heard, but he was taken out of the pit, he was rescued from his despair. Not only that, but God made him happy again. He put a new song in his mouth and, and allowed his feet to stand in a firm place on a rock. Uh, he was, in other words, restored, not only to his maybe former way of life, but to something even better. And this is why today, during a time of national, even international crisis, we can gain so much hope by putting our trust in the Lord and waiting patiently for Him to deliver us. This is the message, I believe, of this pandemic time. Maybe some of us had never learned how to trust in God to begin with. Maybe there are others who have learned and have experienced God's blessing and His presence during trials and during times of difficulty, but needed just a gentle reminder, because maybe it's been too long. And maybe it's that God is willing to start something completely new in each of our lives, something that is worth waiting for that we didn't even know that we were supposed to be waiting for. So today, brothers and sisters, I remind you, wait patiently for the Lord. Place your trust and your hope in Him. At this time and throughout all the days of your lives, and I firmly believe that by doing this, we will receive the same comfort that this individual in the psalm received, that we would be taken out of our hiding place, so to speak, our den of despair, and that we would be restored, a new song put in our mouth, our feet set upon a firm rock, always ready to praise God with a thankful heart, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.